to provide leadership, to set an example that will dissuade, and will also make sure that action is taken against public officials. Just let, let me add one thing. You know, yes, there is there, 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 that apparent perception. But also you must look at individual fights against corruption. I have never escorted anybody to the ESCC. I have never gone into a press conference, even when we have been mobilized, to defend any allegation against a private individual on, a, on allegations of corruption. It's a personal choice. With, with whoever you are, when you call me to defend you over some land, over some bribe, over something, I will never come. It's, 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 these are things that must be personal to us. And I, I, whether you call it a court position or a, a, an individual position, I sat here and told you, in this ratio, and even you took a clip of it and made it news, that in the event a tribunal is set up, notwithstanding process issues, mm -hmm. against uh, Justice Tunui, Kidero must do the honorable thing. If this, if this one person has stepped aside, then the other person it follows must step aside. So I think we must be, we must be, we must be uh, sincere in how we approach these issues. Justice must apply to all of us. We must be able to tell your own brother when he or she is wrong, I mean, when he's wrong, or your sister when she's wrong. So I think these are some of the areas that we need to be very, very, very um, assertive about. Mm -hmm. So for me, uh, I mean, just, I mean, uh, uh, Governor Kidero is a political ally, is a friend. And I know sometimes you open up yourself to, 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 to certain fights, but there's no fight that some of us cannot handle. Uh, I know the, the kind of uh, position when Kidero can put you in within some of, some of the arena of, uh, of, of political contestation. But the honorable thing is for us as a court coalition to call for his stepping aside. I don't, don't, I mean, the process issues aside, because we, as much as we call for process issues, that you accord somebody fair play, but at the same time, we also put certain thresholds. And I'm not, and I agreed with Jagagwa that last time when he said maybe public office, because he's an elected official, there's a certain threshold required by the constitution. Correct. Yeah, but, but, but we, we also, all, all, we, we, we've just asked Murkomen to step aside together with uh, <laughs> and ask for their prosecution. So we even need to do similar things when it comes to our own. So I think these statements, we, are, uh, we must demonstrate we are a serious coalition in terms of taking up corruption. All right. Uh, 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 let me just uh, cut you short there because I want, I want to fully get your um, word. Do you agree that uh, Duale and Murkomen should step aside given the gravitas of these allegations? I, I, I disagree with that position. One, <laughs> I've, I've, I've protects seen, all elected uh, officials. No, no, no. <laughs> I've seen uh, on social media, though, Give David by Waigoro. Actually, does not pinpoint a situation where we are told Duale took this, Mokomen took this. For Mokomen, what I, what I gathered is that he went to Waigoro's office in his official capacity as an advocate appealing for certain persons. Who are mentioned and then she said uh, he came to my office so are we saying that all lawyers are to go to present people in in, in courts are taken to be this no but according to the statement and the affidavit sworn by obstruction Anna, of justice she does mention that uh, there was a threat well if there was a threat that again i know that uh, the, the, the the kenya police offices are open a threat is a crime against the individual she should go to the police and lodge a claim that Molcomen came to me <coughs> gave me this threat or threatened me in this manner then the police will take up the the, 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 okay. the investigations so if, if, if that be the but, case mm -hmm. But if indeed it comes out that Molkomen and Wale partook uh, deep their fingers in that tile of the NYS uh, saga, then they should resign. But as of now, these are just allegations. So equally you agree that uh, Kidero and um, um, uh, Wetangula should also remain in office until the due process like, like is Like I said the other day, like I said the other day, Kidero now a tribunal has been set up, let him go there, let him say, let him give us his position on this matter. If indeed he gave out money, as it is alleged, then of course he should go. And then we should have our Tito as a governor of Nairobi. He should resign his position as an MP. Mm. Then he comes in straight away. Mm. But just mere allegations, somebody wakes up and says, this really happened. I don't think uh, th that is uh, good enough for... Okay, so that we can... For... for <laughs> move <laughs> <on> to, <laughs> <step> aside, <laughs> so, so that we can move on to... No, but again, but again, uh, so, that, so that uh, we, 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 we may be less to this matter. The, the, this office of uh, ESCC, people have been alleging that it is also corrupt. I know we have put, the government has put mechanisms and even we in parliament have, have demanded that we have these uh, officials, the secretariat, let them be vetted mm. so that at least we get people who are, who are clean of good character. Like uh, Omar said, Senator Omar, or is it uh, Kajuan? 
there's a letter saying that Waiguru is clean. Then when Kavura brings in Avidavit, then again come and say, no, no, we never cleared Waiguru of these allegations. We cleared her of this one allegation. Why didn't that come out immediately? That they cleared Waiguru of one allegation, and then there's another host of allegations pending. Because if I was Waiguru, or even if I was a, a defense attorney, I'd go to court uh, uh, once I'm sued and say, look, there's already a certificate of clearance from the ACC mm -hmm. that I'm not collapsed. Is not collapsed. Okay. So we Let must have a clear way. Let EACC deal with these matters with finality and in a clear manner that all Kenyans understand. Not putting us in, in a mad eh? Okay. Do, 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 water. I just want to clarify one thing, though. Mm -hmm. You see, for the for the Murkoman Udwale saga, we have had similar situations in, particularly in countries of the Commonwealth, where people you might hold a position. In a, in a leadership position of, a, of, a, of parliament we, we, when we tell you to resign we're not telling you to, to resign your parliamentary position no, <laughs> we are see, we're just telling you to resign that official <laughs> position because I agree with you to that extent where they might for, because I remember when the spirit of, of pegging the resignation of a member of parliament to a much higher threshold or my political because of the fact that we are people who are constantly being attacked being, uh, being thrown mad at mm -hmm. you know so when people throw mad at you then you might end up throwing mad to the entire uh, 340 something members and telling them to resign on account of that so that's where the threshold is a little higher but when you have a certain position that might might ridicule the position you're holding bring this on as they put it in the constitution to that office and therefore you 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 you, you have to protect the integrity of that office okay uh, let's talk solutions honorable kajuan what need, does kenya need to do to ensure uh, that this corruption dragon is slayed once and for all i keep saying leadership and i keep saying that the trouble with kenya is a uh, lack of uh, leadership whether it is in government or in the opposition or in institutions that are charged with the mandate of dealing with corruption last evening i watched uh, the ESCC chair Chairman, Mr. Philip Kinisu, uh, a gentleman whom I have a lot of respect for because to have held the role that he held in PricewaterhouseCoopers takes an exceptional uh, person. But uh, when it comes to fighting corruption, you don't go there with audit uh, terminologies like frameworks and methodologies and fit and proper. This is uh, a quasi, it's, in fact it is more of a political uh, battle. And, and, and I still feel that even ESCC, with the latest appointments, we still lack the inspiration. In fact, we, someone needs to invent that thing that the late uh, General Otieno Kajuang used to call a passionometer, so that uh, we get people with passion and spine to deal with corruption and to make a difference. Mm -hmm. Then, the National Assembly went ahead and uh, passed an amendment to the act that sets up the ESCC, and that makes the commissioners part-timers and shifts power to the secretary or, or the CEO of ESCC. Who signed the letter discharging uh, Anwai Guru? It was the CEO, Lucky Wako. Who sneaked a, a, a list of uh, shame to the president without involving the commissioners? It was the CEO. So we have shifted power to an individual whose conduct, whose history, uh, whose past indicates that he's more of a gatekeeper for the executive. So going back to that leadership, we still need inspirational leadership within the ESCC, but at the top level, the president, you know, to, to uh, it, it, it's not being ridiculed because it's, it's like a child who threatens that he's going to kill somebody, but he never gets to do it. He Honorable. sounds frustrated. Mm -hmm. He needs to be a leader. Okay. He needs Honorable to set a personal well, let, example. Let, let's talk solutions. And as much as the president has made statement after statement after statement that we are going to deal with corruption, he started by first of all even mentioning his own office. If you remember, he I talked about his own office and he said we are going to see action. Uh, my, my take, before I say my take, what uh, Senator Kajong has said is indeed we made an amendment to the ESCC Act. But as members of parliament, we speak for the people. There is what we are now calling public participation. Before we go to the level of amending that act, that particular clause, there was members of uh, um, uh, public participation, and they did agree that, fine, let us shift, let the commissioners be part-timers, let us have the secretariat doing their work. The rationale behind that is that we are wasting too much money with the commissioners. Indeed, it is our view that let all commissioners be part-timers. Part Even the uh, uh, IBC, we don't need about nine or so commissioners. We need about three, and they'll be part-timers. Now, on the issue of corruption, I would suggest, and my take is that, let us have a change, shift of change of mind about, by Kenyans. Our attitude, our thoughts. Individual personalities that we are going to deal with corruption. 
take the case of a, of a guy who is buying land in Mavoko or Machakos or even Embu for that matter or even Kakamega why should they bribe a land officer for an official search it should be free mm -hmm. I mean it's you a go, right. it's alright you go mm -hmm. pay 500 shillings you get a search but here you are all Kenyans are, are competing to have it the fastest time possible you go to Kajiado and you give a thousand bob so we are saying it, it's Kenyans who are reading actually Kenyans, in as much as we are saying many of them are not in public office, they do not hold office, many of them read, uh, uh, push officials to corruption. Okay. Yes. Let's, uh, uh, from my point of view, the, the issues are both systemic and cultural. Systemic in this sense. There is a cultural in this sense. Most of us who are looking for public office want to capture the state to loot. And we loot either systematically through a systemic way of how you organize, you know, massive programs, NYS, and uh, the one or two coming up in Mombasa, I can tell you, you can even, you, you just need to lose it and you can tell what, what, what is going to happen here. You know, you come with this Mawingo plan, Ma when you even you hear a grant scheme, there's a grant scam coming in. So I think, so we must also, you know, have that systemic shift in terms of, you know, getting people, seriously, who come in not to loot the state. You know, we, it is, it, that part of the responsibility lies with Kenyans to elect a leadership you cannot take the most alleged corrupter, the person who's been most corrupt, and you expect him to bring you progressive change and, bring, and, 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 and remove corruption in, 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 the, in the spheres of public life. These, these, these curriculum vitae do matter. You cannot, you cannot just do that. You, people use corrupt wealth to gain power. They use corrupt wealth to, 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 to sustain power. So okay. these are some of the issues. So where am I talking? That's the shift you're talking about. Yes, and, 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 and let, let me just stop you a bit because I want to fully understand. I mean, Kenyans do know that when we elect corrupt leaders, we're likely not to change that. What needs to happen for us to have that paradigm shift? We're going to the elections in uh, less than, uh, well, just over uh, a year. Elections must be issue-based. We must be able to evaluate. Look, look at, at the issues in the U.S. Small little things. Clinton emails. His, her lectures to, to Wall Street, those do matter because it, it paints to a philosophical and ideological bearing. So for us, it, when you talk in, in, in the context of our politics, what, what President Uhuru calls Matusi is partly legitimate democratic process where we, we are saying this guy is so corrupt to be able to lead the affairs of this state. This guy is so corrupt to be able to lead our county. This guy is so corrupt to us to elect him into the Senate. So what we need to do is to have that shift where we must put character as part of the ingredient of how we evaluate public leadership. That's okay. why when the, sta when the standard group hired you, they had to look at your credibility. Mm -hmm. They had to look at your professional property. They had to look at your eloquence and many things that go with them. Because you are a face, the morning face of the, of the standard station. group of the station every morning. Mm -hmm. So if they want to put a face, they cannot put a face that then is picked up drunk every day. He's stealing and beating up his neighbors. <laughs> uh, I mean, that, Interestingly, as Kenyans, when we go to the yeah. ballot, we, we seem not to care about the curriculum. Yes. Detail. Mm -hmm. But let's now talk about the IEBC because that, again, is another body that is under um, the microscope. And given that there's a chicken gate scandal, I believe today the, 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 the chair is going to be sitting before a commission. And uh, let me start with you, Honorable Njagago. How are we going to ensure that when, <laughs> yeah, we, we, yeah, when, when, when we go to the elections that uh, the IEBC, like Caesar's wife, is, has no reproach whatsoever? Because it is a very important organ uh, for us to feel, uh, for Kenyans to feel that there has been a free and fair election. Uh, I don't know what, you know, my take and I believe is uh, everybody's take. Many of us were elected either in the Senate or in Parliament, and I believe the governors. We have already been saying the time of these IDC commissioners is coming to an end slightly after the general elections. Number two, if there's going to be a runoff between uh, the number one and number two presidential candidates, then they'll not have enough time to organize for it. These are people under pressure. So it, it would be wise for them. Kenya is bigger than all of us. Why is it that they must cling to the last day of their term? We have had uh, the commissioners of uh, uh, ESCC going. I believe we were paid uh, the, 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 the Akite for the time that they never spent in office. Why don't we have uh, Asan and, and the others giving up a uh, whole attendee in, one, in good faith and say that, look, we have been so much, too much under pressure from Kenyans. People, are, of course, you remember the last time uh, Raila and Brigade, uh, the court said that uh, the, 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 the victory was stolen. 
now the chicken gate issues are again coming up some of them were mentioned they are the CEO 